Hey guys, today I'm just gonna, ooh, that sun got bright all of a sudden. I'm burning my retinas, my corneas. Today I am just going to be bringing you along through my day. I have some plant chore things to do. Oh my gosh, that sun it burns, I need to go somewhere else. Okie dokie. Anyway, I have some plant stuff to get done, some repotting I'm going to do at long frickin' last. I've been putting this off forever. Just some plant, some plant maintenance things that I gotta get done. I've been trying to stay on top of my plant care a lot more lately. It has been, you know, it waxes and wanes, I guess I'll say. Some days I'm super on top of it and some days I just literally cannot find a minute out of my day to take care of me plants. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. So some plants are, really thriving, some are really not. Yeah, that's just my life right now. So before we get into the plants, I'm really excited to show and tell you about today's sponsor, Okai. Scooter die. <laughs> Okai did kindly send me this, their neon scooter and I, I'm obsessed with it. The Neon Scooter is a great compact form of transportation and also fun. I will primarily be using it for fun. Although there is a grocery store a mile away from my house, it'll come in really handy to be able to make quick trips to the grocery store, hop on there, get to the grocery store while enjoying some fresh air and not have to worry about gas in my car. Something really cool about the scooter is you actually control it through an app so you can lock and unlock it through the app. You can also check your ride history so distance you've traveled, how fast you've traveled, how long you've been on the scooter, and then also like the battery percentage, of course. You can customize it through the app as well. There are light strips on the scooter that you can change the color of to really customize it, whatever you want. So like, of course I've changed mine to green, you know, plants, uh, but you can really change it to whatever you want. And you can also change the display mode that shows the scooter's battery percentage and also miles per hour you're traveling as you ride. It has easy one click folding, so you just just pull this little lever and fold it in half. It's easy to pack up and take along with you wherever you go. So me personally, I am going to be taking it camping with me all summer. I'm like actually really, really looking forward to this. I can fold it up, put it in my car with our stuff. I'll be able to ride this around wherever we're camping. The scooter does have 8.5 inch pneumatic tires, which makes it great for a lot of different terrains. So like bumpy roads or rocky dirt paths, it just gives it a lot smoother of a ride. So your brain doesn't get like bounced around in there, you know, when you're riding over bumps. We don't want a shaky brain. This thing goes 16 miles per hour. I gotta say, once you get on the scooter and get going top speed, it feels a lot faster than it sounds. I'm happy to report that you can brake confidently on this thing. It has an electric front brake, but a rear disc brake. So you can come to a complete stop very steadily. It's really nice just to have peace of mind that not only are the brakes easy to control, but also the steering is easy to maneuver. It's not like super heavy or doesn't require a lot of force to get going, which I really, really appreciate. All in all, I'm really happy with this scooter. Like I said, I wish I wish I had taken my camera out and filmed the first time I rode it around my neighborhood because I got on this thing, got going. I was on sport mode. I was laughing hysterically the whole time, just having a blast. It, it's a lot of fun. So if you're on the market for a compact mode of transportation, I highly, highly recommend checking out Okai products, specifically the Neon Scooter, as that's what I have experience with. It's been great. I'm having a lot of fun with it and I look forward to doing more with it. It's definitely something that'll be utilized quite often in my life. The link to check out Okai will be down in the description box. Again, highly recommend going to check them out, look more into it. And yeah, thank you so much, Okai, for making today's video possible. But with all that being said, let's get back into the plants. First things first. Ugh. Here I have my big box store sport variegated Monstera. The thing about this Monstera though, is that there is only one section that has the variegation, I cut the rest of it off. So I just think I wanna separate that section from the rest of the plant. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm actually going to pot it into this pot, which in my last plant vlog care, well, I don't know, video, I took a variegated monstera out of this. So this works out perfectly. Um, I have a saucer here that perfectly fits so I can water the plant without it leaking out the bottom. You see? <laughs> Let's do this. I don't know why I have been putting this off for so long, but I just have. You guys know how I am lately. I just put it all off, all off forever.
Oh. oh my gosh, there's a little baby. Cute. Separate the soil. Okay, you cannot see what I'm doing, but I'm just taking the soil, whatever's really super loose on the roots off. Um, so it's a little bit lighter weight and easier to work with. Okay, don't snap on me. Don't snap on me. I'm being pretty bold by holding the plant like this because this root ball is quite heavy and I hope that I don't snap the plant. If you hear a big, it's not me. It, it is not my wrist. It is the plant, I'm telling you that now. I'm like really actually looking forward to getting this, this separated because it's a chore that's been in the back of my mind for so long. It is definitely not as important of a chore as say watering my plants, so I just, I always have put it off, so it'll be really, really nice to, you know, finally get it out of the way. Okay, that actually, that soil all came off of this very, very well. I'm quite pleased with that. And now I'm gonna separate all the individual little crowns. Okay, so I just said crowns. Let me ask you something. Kai recently has been super, super into coloring with crayons. You know, crayons, C-R-A-Y-O-N-S, crayons, right? Ryan calls them crowns. How do you personally pronounce it? Crayons like me or crowns like Ryan? We've been debating on what's correct and I'm like pretty certain that I'm correct, but he's pretty certain that he's correct, but I'm fairly certain that it's that's not. This one right here is the variegated section, I believe. Well, I'm gonna take off this little baby. Um, Oh, it has a little root, so I can do something with that. This little baby, I'll let you grow. So actually anything on this stem has the potential to be variegated. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it, leave the rest of the little babies on there, set this aside for un momento. Here's the variegated piece. So look at this leaf. That one has a cool little, a cool little, bit right there, but I think it might be kind of hard to see on camera. Oh, this one has even less, but this is the newest leaf right here. It's still hardening off so you can't see it as well as it as you'll be able to once it's hardened off. Yeah, I'm really excited to get this little potted up. I'm really hoping that this little white speck continues on in the plant. Like obviously this next leaf that it put out didn't have that, but it'd be cool if another leaf did. So here's hoping, here is freaking hoping. Now for the fun part, I'm gonna put some soil in the bottom of my pot. I feel really excited. I'm sorry if I'm being annoying. I'm probably being super annoying. I guess what's new? I don't know. It. I'm just feeling, I'm just feeling pumped right now because this really, has been weighing heavy on my mind, even though I don't know why, because it totally wasn't necessary. Like the plant wasn't root bound in that pot. I mean, you could see the root system is quite small compared to the size of the pot it was in, but I don't know, I'm just excited. This makes me feel like I have my life together because I'm doing non, non necessary plant chores, which I have really been missing. Like the repotting and stuff has just been so hard to do lately. These past three months with my new baby and toddler, um, you guys know, any, especially those of you with kids know. There's not a lot of us time, me time, you know? We are gonna put her in there. I mean, these are some pretty good roots for this amount of cut. In one of my recent videos, I think it was like my favorite plants at the moment video, I showed some of the other cuttings that I have gotten off of this plant and they have been growing really well. Super beautiful variegated, so, oh gosh. I guess we're gonna use this tiny little spoon to scoop, to fill it up with because I am, I'm making a mess already, but we don't need to make more of a mess than necessary. Although this is a tiny, tiny little spoon. I'm gonna be here all day. Do, 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 do. Okay, screw it. They invented vacuums for a reason, right? Please just go in the pot. This is why I always put off repotting. Ah, it's been a while since I've, I've potted anything into soil. So I forgot how much I hate soil. Well, I don't hate it. I actually really like the way it smells and the way it feels. And I don't know, I really do like it, but I just hate when I have to do it inside, which right now I do have to do it inside because it is freezing outside and I, I will deal with the cold. I, I really like being outside, but my plants are tropical and they do not. That is the issue. 
and I'm trying to please these divas so that they will bless me with some new beautiful growth to get me through this dark, dreary winter, you know? <laughs> ah. Shake her up so it can go into all the roots. I, I need to stake this. Let me go find a stake or something. Okay, so I didn't realize as I was potting this, um, I noticed as I walked away, this plant is really, really wonky. So anyway, I don't have a stake. I can't find any of my stakes or moss poles or anything to help this grow more upward. Um, it's like a little bit top heavy, so, but I found this paint stir ruler stick that we will be using. I mean, it is just temporary to help it stand up straight, stand up on its own two feet. I probably need to give it a little bit higher light for a while, especially. I thought this was gonna help tie it, but it's not. So let me go find something else to tie this off with. I wish I had a zip tie. And by I wish I had a zip tie, I mean, I wish I had a zip tie right here already because I do have zip ties in the basement. <gasps> I'm just too lazy to run down there and grab them. So we're just gonna try and tie this with a little stringy, a little stringy thing. I'm gonna like wrap it around a couple times. This is gonna look really ugly for a while and I am full well aware. So don't even, whatever comment you're typing, making fun of my little awkward, weird looking plant. <gasps> Stop it because I already know, we already know. But, but you know what, there's potential. This thing is gonna get huge and beautiful, I can just feel it. I can feel it. I can really, really just, you know, it's, it's gonna happen. Okay. Um, it's a plant. <laughs> oh, it's a little bit awkward of a plant. Am I gonna pot these into this pot? No, I think I wanna put them in to water. I do, I'm gonna do that. Okay. So I actually bought this little um, garbage bin. Like it's just a little, little tiny garbage bin, like probably this big to put a plant in, in water. But Kai got a hold of it before I, you know, put a plant in it in water and he's been playing with it. And he'll like put his toys into it, take them out and he thinks it's really fun. Or he'll like set it upside down in front of the window and watch cars drive by out the window, which I think is really cute. So it would make me so sad to take that away from him. Um, so I'm gonna have to make one of these little cover pots work. I mean, I guess the roots aren't actually too big. This is definitely gonna work. Oh my gosh, is it? Okay, it's, it's gonna have to. It's gonna have to. Cause I just can't do that to my little boy. He's so precious, he's so cute. With this little trash can that he carries around the house. It's the little things, am I right? This is wild. <laughs> Why do my plants all look so bad? Okay, I got some water. Maybe a little bit more. <gasps> cool, where should I put it? Okay, so this is definitely gonna change, but I think I'm gonna like slide those pictures over like this. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. Moving you over here, grandma and grandpa. That's my grandma and grandpa. And then move this guy right here. This looks really awkward, but I do have plans to re, well clean and like reorganize and reconfigure this whole thing. I mean, I just have like empty pots everywhere. I've been really changing things around. I think spring is coming because I am feeling spring cleany and spring rearrange slash redecorate my whole house. We are gonna put this monstrosity of a plant and I mean that in the nicest way possible, <laughs> but like what? Is this not the most awkward thing you've ever seen in your life? This is just gonna have to work for now until until I figure out a better spot or a better situation for this or maybe order a new pot. <laughs> I'm nervous. This feels like a disaster waiting to happen. It is slipping out of me arms. Okay, this actually might end up being really cool if I could get it to grow up this, this wall over here. Okay, that's not that bad, is it? You can't see because my big head is in the way. Yeah, it looks really weird, but not as weird as I thought it was going to. And I actually think that there's hope. I think that there's hope that this will turn out, ugh really cool as it like adjusts itself to the light. I may need to do some chopping. So you'll, you'll probably see that in a video coming up where I clean this and reorganize or whatever. I think in due time, this is going to grow to actually look really cool up here. Let's look at it from different angles. Oh my gosh, what? Okay, wait, that's not bad. 
It's not great either, but it's not bad. Is it terrible? Obviously I need to reorganize this, which I will be doing. I have it on the schedule, but our little friend, monstrous, monstrosity monstera there isn't looking too shabby okay i feel i'm feeling better i don't feel as dumb dumb i feel a little dumb dumb but not as dumb dumb i guess i better clean up my mess which i do not want to and this is a ruggable rug i kind of hate it all <laughs> i'm not gonna get into that right now uh but today we're just going vacuum because i'm being lazy Okay, so I'm actually kind of thinking I'm going to move my humidifier off of my nightstand. For now, I'm gonna put it on the floor, but I'll put it away in the closet a little bit later um, and put the plant, no, that's gonna be way too crowded, but I do still wanna move this. You know what? I think I'm gonna put it in this bathroom, maybe just on the floor there, because I don't know where else to, oh, oh, <laughs> hang on a sec. Hang on a second. We are going to put it right here for now. That looks really awkward, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> but I think in due time, it might end up looking okay. Um, I kind of hate it there a lot actually, but I don't know where else to put it. It's gonna live right here next to Ficus Audrey. Until I figure out somewhere better, I think that that's okay. It looks not great, but it is what it is. I mean, it's fine. <sighs> I am really looking forward to the day that I can keep plants on the floor all over like how it used to be in my house um, and a toddler will not get into it, you know? One day, one day. All right guys, so it turns out I lost my last clip of this video, um, but that is going to be it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!